Claymore Zcash AMD GPU Miner version 10 for Windows. A little over two months after the launch of Zcash, we're already on version 10 of Claymore's Miner. You can see that speeds on this version 10 Miner are about 8% faster than the previous Miner. He's also added a Dash A option to select the best algorithm implementation for your GPU. If you look at his list of commands on the thread, it doesn't actually say anything about the dash A command. So I'll go ahead and open the readme file. And in the readme file, you can see that dash A algorithm selection, possible values 0 to 3. 0 is auto detect. So I'm going to be using 0 auto detect. And also remember the dash I mining intensity command from 0 to 8. I'll be using 8 on all of my tests today. Also remember that there is a current developer fee of 2% if you're using the SSL connection to the mining pool. That will mine for 72 seconds every hour. If you're not using the SSL connection, you're using an unsecure connection, the developer fee is 2.5% and every hour it will mine for 90 seconds. You can also use the no fee option and not pay any fee, but it will be a little bit slower. I'll go ahead and click on my flypool batch file and launch the miner. Here are my seven RX 470s. And you can see they're generally getting about 240 to 245 hash per second. GPU 5 is probably a little bit slower than the others. Now here I've gone ahead and I've overclocked the memory to 1900 megahertz. Previously it was at 1750 megahertz. And you can see that I'm getting almost up to 260 hash per second. Generally between 245 and 255 hash per second. Here are my six RX 480s. These do not have any modified ROMs. And you can see they're generally getting about 260 hash per second. Now I've gone ahead and overclocked the core of one of the cards to 1440 megahertz, and you can see that it's getting 285 hash per second. So depending on how you overclock your cards, you should be able to get something in the 260, 285, maybe even 290 if you're lucky, hash per second range. And here are my two R9 295 x 2s or four 290Xs, and they're each getting over 280 hash per second. These cards have no additional overclock and no modifications whatsoever. So I hope you liked the video, I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.